Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty the King and the UAE President exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking Eid al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. A telephone call was held today between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. His Majesty King Hamad and His Majesty King Abdullah exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking Eid al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, held today a telephone call with the Prime Minister of the Hellenic Republic, Kyrgios Mit, uh, Mitsotakis. During his discussion, His Royal Highness congratulated Mitsotakis on his uh, sworn as Prime Minister of Greece. His Royal Highness wished uh, Mitsotakis success in his upcoming duties amid uh, further strengthening progress and prosperity for Greece and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain-Greece relations and the importance of further developing ties to align with the aspirations and mutual interests of both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad and Mitsotakis also discussed ways to further strengthen bilateral relations between Bahrain and Greece. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued today Edict 47 of 2023 granting an entry visa and a platinum residence permit to residents, providing that they have lived in the Kingdom of Bahrain for at least 15 years, have good conduct and have never been convicted of a felony of misendeavor involving breach of honor or trust even if they have been rehabilitated. The edict applies to residents whose average basic salary is 4,000 Bahraini dinars or more during the last five years of residency in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also issued Edict 48 of 2023, amending Article 1 of Edict 43 of 2003, designating uh, the areas where non-Bahrainis may own uh, real estate properties. Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the advanced level reached by horse racing sports in Bahrain comes as a result of the support of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop the sports that is an integrated part of the heritage of the kingdom. His Highness affirmed that the potential that Bahrain possesses, which contributed to strengthening its position on the horse racing map. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman was speaking as the Asian Racing Federation announced that Bahrain had achieved a new international gain in the field of equestrian and horse racing by upgrading the classification of the Bahrain International Trophy from the third international level to the second international level. His Highness trusts that this accomplishment comes as a result of the successes achieved and the global confidence gained by Bahrain International Trophy in the previous four editions until it became the focus of attention of the international community in the horse racing sector. His Highness pointed out that this achievement can attract more international participations with high levels and classifications in terms of owners, horses, trainers and international riders, providing the race with greater momentum and contributing to placing it with the advanced international races at all levels. His Highness also praised all the organizational and administrative efforts as well as Bahraini cadres that have contributed to achieving the distinguished organizational successes of the Bahrain International Trophy. For his part, the Supreme Council for the Environment Vice President and High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Deputy Chairman His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness at upgrading the classification of the Bahrain International Trophy to the second international level. He said that the achievement is the result of the support of the equestrian and horse racing sector by His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the relentless endeavor and efforts made by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman to develop the sector, especially the organization of international races, which contributes to distinguished placing Bahrain on the international map and the world of horse racing. وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب اللهم لبيك 
More than 2 million Hajj pilgrims from around the world have begun moving to Muzdalifa after gathering at Mount Arafat today, where they stood in prayer for noon to sunset in one of the most important days of the Islamic calendar. At Muzdalifa, pilgrims will gather pebbles for a symbolic stoning of the devil ritual, which begins tomorrow, Sunday, and it is also the start of the Eid al-Abha feast of sacrifice, marked by the world's more than 1.5 billion Muslims. The pilgrims performed Dhuhr and Asr prayers and listened to the Arafat sermon at Nimra Mosque. It was on this day, some 1,400 years ago, that Islam's prophet Muhammad is said to have delivered his final sermon from Mount Arafat during the Hajj, calling for equality and for Muslims to unite. Eid al-Adha, or the Feast of Sacrifice, is celebrated by Muslims by slaughtering animals to mark Prophet Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his son Ismail upon the command of God. The General Presidency for the Affairs of the Grand Holy Mosque and the Prophet's Holy Mosque has provided electric vehicles, EVs, around the clock for elderly and disabled pilgrims, helping them perform the needed rituals with ease. Over 9,000 EVs are in the service of visitors of the Grand Holy Mosque. They can be booked in advance through a Tanagul transport smartphone application which aims to serve pilgrims through the latest technological advances. The application helps purchase tickets, pre-book EVs and reduce overcrowding at the point of sale and delivery. Saudi authorities are using high-tech solutions such as robots and smart apps to monitor activities at the Grand Mosque, says state-run news agency. The Sunni Endowments Council confirmed the readiness of the Eid prayer areas in the Kingdom of Bahrain to receive worshippers on the blessed day of Eid al-Abha. The council formed a working team during the last period to equip mosques and open area spaces for holding Eid prayer throughout the kingdom. It has completed all the maintenance, operation and hygiene preparation at the mosques to receive the worshippers of Eid al-Abha prayers. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيب The second edition of the Housing Finance Exhibition proved a success amid a surge of reservation of the Suhail Housing Project. Housing and Urban Planning Minister Amna bint Ahmed al-Rumehi said that 93% of the units featuring in the Suhail Housing Project have already been booked. She indicated that the exhibition is in line with the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Suhail Housing Project was inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the city centre. The units of the Suhail project, which is the first to be implemented under the Government Land Development Programme, were booked during the 10-day expo, which concluded on June 24. The minister said that more than 24,000 visitors flocked to the exhibition, noting big demand on housing financing services. al indicated that the exhibition will be expanded during the next stage through an action plan that the ministry is working on. Ahiyya Bia celebration was held this evening across Bahrain featuring folkloric songs. In the spirit of Hiyya Bia, a Bahraini cultural tradition where children dress in beautiful uh, traditional costumes and take a plant grass that they have taken care of to teach them about nurturing, a patience and sacrifice and throw it into the sea while singing Hiyya Bia. Over the years, larger beach spaces have hosted the Hiyabiya events and bouncy castles, live bands and food vendors have been organized by various societies or private individuals to market a more of an event for the kids. The Hiyabiya is also called in the local dialect, is a tradition that has been passed to generations in a number of Gulf states. The celebration is held on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah as part of Eid al-Adha and is also a preparation for the warm welcome to the the pilgrims returning from Mecca.